What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and in today's video we're going to be doing some good old pond bass fishing and uh, there's a private pond a little ways out and uh, we've got access to it through a good friend that my dad knows and uh, he's nice enough to uh, to let us come out and fish sometimes. So one today is one of those times. So we're going to pack up the car, head out there go do some fish and hopefully get on some fish um, I'm not sure it's it's yeah it's, it's kind of a nice day you know um, but we're gonna get, head out there try to do some fishing I believe I've got a swim jig or a chatterbait tied on and then maybe like a jig or a Texas rig or something like that I can't really remember uh, but we're gonna look, go load up the car and head out there and try to do some fishing and uh, yeah let's let's try to kiss some fish Got one. Got one, guys. First fish of the day on the lizard too. Tied on the lizard with a Texas rig, and that is fish number one. Hit it as soon as it hit the water. Just felt my line jump, and there we go. First, first fish. Oh man, he's a he's a feisty guy. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Decent fish right there, not too bad. On the lizard, I've never really, oh wow, and the hook came like right out, but I've never fished. This is a uh, this is a Strike King lizard. I don't know what it's called. I'll show you, the, the, I'll show you guys the package here in a second, but nice little fish right there. Not too bad. All righty, off. off she goes, right back over there, but I had actually cast it out and I was letting it sink to the bottom, just felt my line jump, and that is when you normally know you have a fish, especially on me, like, that That was just way too, way too shallow. That bite was just way too shallow for it to be, like, for me to be hitting the bottom. So, other than that, that's a pretty good sign. I've had, like, a couple actually blow-ups on, on this, uh, on the lizard as well i had to put on a new one the, my first blow up on this guy just because there's a lot of grass out here i'm trying to like kind of scurry it across the top you know um, so it looks like a lizard or a rat or snake or whatever you know um and the first one like almost like bit off the entire tail so bit off everything except for like the part on the hook so i had to go back and uh get the package on that because I'm hoping they're going to be munching the lizard, but this is it right here, the Rage Tail Lizard. Actually, it doesn't have a little package deal on it, so I can't tell you all what the bait is, but I'm sure Rage Tail doesn't make too many lizards, so right there. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, we got one. We got another one, guys. We got another one. Oh, no. That was a four pounder. That was a good one. That was a good one, guys. That really stinks. I don't know how he came off. I don't know how. Maybe throw back in there again or something, but that really stinks. I knew there was gonna be one back there too. I mean, I knew there was gonna be one. There just had to be. Picked it up. Right as I was hopping it, couldn't pop it anymore. Man, that really. All right, guys, my dad got a, his second fish. There we go. On the jig. What? I heard him. There we go. Look at that, guys. On the jig. Not too bad. That's a, that's a healthy guy. There you go. Let's just get him. This one's not as hard as the. Wasn't as hard to get out. There you go. Look at that. Nice fish. Get him back. That one came up and bit it at top water. Yep. Cause the jig. Got one. Got one, guys. There we go. 
that's the second fish of the day for me there we go I kind of wanted one more navel so I could you know try to make it a little bit better video but just kind of knocked slack in my in my line and just yanked him right out of there choked the chatterbait though check that out imitator baits blading jig getting it done this is actually kind of like a different color one that I just kind of custom made you guys know because it's I own the company so I can really kind of do whatever I whatever color I make and so I just kind of made a little bluegill one a little bit different pattern than what we normally have on our chatterbaits but nice little fish that chatterbait's been doing work as of recently I've been catching lots of fish on this chatterbait and uh, maybe maybe you guys will see this color drop soon not sure but I'm gonna see if I can uh, get another one before we kind of head out of here we've got to probably leave here in another you know 10 to 15 minutes so Let's see if we can get another one all right you guys it's gonna be my last cast of the day or the of this fishing video all right well that is gonna conclude it for today's video um yeah thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys at the uh at the outro all right guys so i hope you all enjoyed today's video i know i didn't catch a ton of fish um but uh i did have that one big big fish on um i'm telling you guys it was a solid at least minimum of like three to four pounds i mean it, I, I mean they're in that there's like this little pocket that kind of like jets out from the pond and there's normally always a pretty good sized fish in there my friends we've caught we've all caught like good like three and a half to five pounders out of that out of that little area and there's normally one just kind of swimming around in there and I'm, I, I hooked him today but um, and I'm really even surprised that he came off I don't know what happened I, I believe I set the hook pretty good um, but I, I, it's not like my hook was bent out or anything. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I thought I got a decent hook set in him, but I'm not really sure why he came off. But it was it was a it was a good fish though. Um, would have been one for the video definitely. Uh, but other than that, I only caught two fish today. My dad caught two actually as well. You guys only saw one of his fish, uh, but he caught he caught two like solid ones, uh, like one and a half pounders. You know, solid fish. So um, other than that, thing guys for watching if you guys want the chatter baits or swim jigs or whatever we used in today's video link is down in the description also we just launched some imitator baits merchandise um, apparel we've got short sleeve shirts long sleeve shirts and stickers so um, go check that out all very reasonably priced on the website go check it out link is down in the description helps the channel out helps the company out helps me out and uh, yeah I, I would love your support um, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.